We're going to look and see how we can tell which of two fractions is bigger by just looking. So for example, if we're asked which is bigger, one third or one fifth, we can do this by picturing each of these fractions. You know I'd do this by now. One third is just one cut up into three pieces and you take one of them. Whereas one fifth is the one whole cut up into five pieces and you take one of them. And looking at this picture, you can clearly see that one third is bigger than one fifth. And hopefully that makes sense to you. If you take that whole rectangle and cut it up into just three pieces, each piece is going to be bigger than if you cut it up into a whole lot more pieces, if you cut it up into five pieces, for example. And we can use the idea of sharing a cake to answer the same question. So if we take one cake and we have a group of three friends sharing it, each of them will get one third of the cake if they share it fairly so that everybody gets an equal piece. But if we have that same cake, and this time we have five people sharing it, then each person will get one fifth of the cake. Now, think about it. If you really love cake, which of these two groups would you rather be in? Well, obviously you'd rather be over here because one cake shared between three people means you get a much bigger piece than if you've got one cake and you've got five people that have to share it. So this is another way of seeing that one third is greater than one fifth. And so what we see is we have this scenario that if we've got one over a big denominator, the fraction is going to be very small because one can be thought of as the one cake and the big denominator can be thought of as a big crowd of people. If we've got a big crowd of people sharing one cake, everybody's only going to get a small piece. And the story is, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. And that you can just think of, well, if we get a bigger crowd, still only sharing that one cake, everyone's going to get a much smaller piece. Let's go back to this picture. We can actually use it to answer a different question, which is, which is bigger, two-thirds or four-fifths? We can do this by noticing that two-thirds is this bit here, the whole minus the red one-third. And four-fifths is this bit here, it's the whole minus the yellow one-fifth. Now you can easily see with two-thirds, you've taken away a bigger piece than with four-fifths, where you've taken away the smaller one-fifth piece. And so therefore, four-fifths is bigger than two-thirds. You might also be asked to compare something like two-thirds and three-fifths, and you can do this by drawing a picture. Take a rectangle, cut it into three pieces and colour in two of them for two-thirds, and take a rectangle, cut it into five pieces and colour in three of them for three-fifths. And you can have a look here and compare and see that two-thirds is a little bit bigger than three-fifths. But if we're really going to make these kind of um, comparisons, we're actually going to do it using equivalent fractions. And we'll do that um, and look at that a bit later.